speed and the diodes are red, the sound alarm goes off um, and the second servo motor opens the safety valve. And when the temperature decreases, again the alarm becomes silent, um, the diodes become green and the safety valve closes uh, and the speed of ventilator decreases. So we're going to demonstrate it now. Alright, so we can see now that my friend is holding it, so it, uh, the temperature is between 20 and 30 degrees. So this ventilator spins and the yields are orange. Yeah, and that's it. Okay, so about a month ago, our teacher prepared for us a task where we had to uh, prepare a robot, just build it at all. And uh, there were several things that this robot had to do. Uh, unfortunately, we managed to um, to do, I think, one thing. I think just one out of three things here. Uh, so maybe we'll come here closer. Then, uh, in this robot, this constructor, uh, we've got two four sens sensors, and our task was to uh, to uh, measure them, and the uh, screen had to just display this. Unfortunately, we haven't managed to do this. To, to do this. And uh, the rest of things were about these two motors, and the whole constructor works like this, and if we make a single angle here. Wait. Ah, does it work? Okay, right now. If you move it here. Okay. It's moving by the angle we make here. And this is unfortunately the only thing we've done. Also, there is an infrasound uh, sensor which had to uh, measure the distance between this block and the sensor, and if it reached this uh, this length, it had to stop and come back here. But unfortunately, we didn't make it. 
and Juliana will tell us something uh, about the troubles we we've been through here. Okay, so the rope uh, here starts uh, water? rubbing, rubbing, and we uh, had to find the reason why. And with Marta, we start looking how to do that and the best uh, example that here is work that we use a tape here and Good job at the beginning because the main task was uh, to measure the dependence of uh, the force on location uh, of uh, the stuff and it is still not finished but uh, our school year finishes so we have to cancel it as it is. Okay. We attended in a school project that our teacher gave us and we had to make a robot just to combine our knowledge of magnetic force with some robotic and programming with black mice. Uh, so our task was to make a robot that can move a magnet into axis. Uh, I mean z-axis up and down and y-axis uh, left and right. And that's how this work. And we made it with remote control pilot. And the whole project was to uh, use unconventional uh, magnetic sensor just to merge the magnetic field and to show that we can use a very simple robot, for example, to check our security in some places, for example, magnetic fields. Uh, so now I'll show you how does it work like. Um, so we got some buttons and it can move back. Yeah, to keep on cancel this because uh, unfortunately because of that plastic and that Lego, uh, we didn't have much time to make it very static. It moves a little bit, but it works. <laughs> and I think that's the most important thing of this project. Uh, then in under button we move uh, this engine up and down and we, then we move our magnet. Uh, here we have our magnetic sensor and in our screen and our screen shows us uh, the value of the magnetic force. Does it really measure the magnetic field? Yep, it does matter and the power is minus 13 mm -hmm. because here and we can move it here and now it's minus 8. I guess it's mm, Lego milestones in it, <laughs> but and if you will close, if you will be close enough, unfortunately, some, sometimes it doesn't work. So and that's how it does work, and that's our project. Sometimes, uh, unfortunately, sometimes this sensor uh, reads our field as plus, and sometimes it reads as minus. So it just, we don't change the magnet, the magnetic position, and the sensor changes the plus or minus. So I think the Lego company should work on it. Uh, it depends uh, which pole is uh, directed to the no, sensor. No, it not depends. We didn't change it, but no. minus and plus changes every time we run our, pro our program. And maybe go on here and we'll show this little program. It's very easy, it's very simple. Here we got our uh, pilot uh, with those infrared sensor. And our pilot sends a signal and uh, it depends how this whole machine runs and goes. Uh, here we have this book is infrared beacon. Infrared, infrared beacon, okay. Uh, here we got our infrared sensor. It's um, our teacher bought it not from Lego. It's it's great sensor. I like it. In my opinion, here we've got all state, 
And here is how it became uh, to uh, display uh, here is force. And that was our project. So that's, that's, that's all I think. So when we turn off the program, the robot automatically uh, calibrates itself. So it will show that in the x uh, in the z axis there is uh, eight point uh, nine point eight uh, meters per second squared, and in other axis there is zero. When when it stops accelerating, uh, calibrating itself, we can uh, change the. Uh, we can move the motors in four, uh, four uh, directions, right, left, up, and down. And on the screen we can check uh, how the acceleration changes. And also there is an information how much times we pressed the different buttons. So this acceleration is displayed somewhere here, yes? yes? Okay. And you can uh, see how uh, the acceleration uh, change in three, uh, in three, in x, y, and z uh, direction. And that's our robot. The large servo motor drives the shaft in a gearbox with three gears. The speed encoder is connected to the output shaft. A small servo motor allows changing ratios. Uh, the robot calculates and displays the ratio of the uh, rational speed of the output and input shaft, which can be compared with the ratio of the number of teeth in the rushes. Control using the buttons on the smart cube. Change of the rational speed of a large servo motor. Left-right shifts radio. Enter the indications. So how does it work? But uh, you have to use somewhere uh, uh, angle encoder. Is it somewhere else? I put it in a program. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh. On the ground with this machine. Anything else? 